Hi guys, Blade here, getting ready to work on this uh, snapper, this 33 inch snapper. That uh, wire there you saw in the last video on the floor is to uh, help wire up some of these mowers and uh, possibly this one. Right now I'm going to get the tire off of it, the back one, so now hold air. Leave it just the front right, so we're going to do tires first before we mount this thing. Plus we have to clean the mouse nest out of this. It's um, 718 Five o'clock, almost. Two in 2018 as I'm making this. I'm gonna make this a long video, I guess, like a compilation. So let's see how it goes. All right, I got the tire off. I got it on the workbench. I'm gonna cut it off with my utility knife. I'm not good at breaking the beads on these tires, so I just cut them off. The small one's gonna be really hard for me on the right there. This engine isn't mounted yet. I just want to get the tires done first. There's also a, a mouse nest in this engine. You can see evidence of it right in there. Guys, I got the treads off. You see me do this before. I hit this little um, uh, crowbar I got at the dollar store into the bead. I break the bead, then I, uh, with the, the thing there, the, the crowbar. And then I uh, take these and try to pinch the sidewall wire, uh, just uh, like that, guys. All right, guys, I got it off there. Getting ready to cut through the sidewall. Prince came on the radio. Love that song. We'll be back after the purple rain. Hopefully, we can get the tire mounted. I might be out here at night working on this thing, guys, with the uh, work light in the box. Got that little nubby off there with my utility knife, the valve some guys. This is rust and I'm going to sand it down a bit inside. Can't find my wire brush to mention that. I uh, got it off there guys. I'm getting ready to run some sandpaper over the rust. Uh, fix a flat tends to do that in slime guys. That's the way that goes right with the valve stem inside the tire. As you can see I sanded it down I I sprayed lubricant on it I wiped it with a, my old underwear and um, carburetor cleaner to clean off the lubricant guys helps them in their uh, crutch guys for a change and then do it backwards you want to start the tire on that side not on the other side guys because it's it'll be harder much harder Frickin' love Katy Perry guys I got the tire on there I used the finest Walmart lubricant to slide it on there and in the compressor's plugged in. Oh my god, it says for not for highway use. I can't take this on a high speed chase of the cops or something. Hi guys, it's 7:19, 1:20 p.m. I'm getting ready to do the tire on this. I'm going to try and uh, fix the flat this first. Uh, save me some time by doing this. I really don't want to cut this tire. There's not much uh, damage to the sidewall, so uh, my uh, can of fix plant might fix it. Um, I looked, the uh, takes a little uh, counter pin through there. It's not uh, broken off there, guys. Uh, what you do, guys, to uh, fix a flat it when you don't have it on the machine, you just spin it in a circle and fall over your uh, jack there, and freaking do all sorts of ninja tricks with it and drop it on the floor. We're also getting ready to clean out a mouse nest with my uh, blower thing there. People usually have an air compressor to do that. I use a whole uh, uh, Metro uh, dog hair dryer. I've uh, fixed the flat action, guys. Hopefully, there's some in the can. It doesn't seem to work all that well. Just like this, guys. It bounces too. Now I'm taking the cover off, guys, to see what pleasant mouse nest awaits me. This is a 1995 12.5 uh, horsepower bricks, guys. Let's see how it cover awaits us. What well, goodies are under there? And feel it puffing out. Hopefully I don't break this oil thing. Alright. Whoa! It doesn't have one! 
I just assumed. Must be little pieces of leaves and grass in there. That's pretty awesome. No mouse nest for me. And no guys, I didn't taste the saw previously before and clean the mouse nest out of there. This is my first time taking this cover off, as you can see, with me uh, struggling with it. Still gonna clean it out of there, guys. But there, just to make it better. Generally, just want to put the wrong plug in there to start it, guys. Maybe I did that. Looks like a weed whacker plug. To take this uh, starter dust cover off in order to uh, uh, put it back on. Also, it looks. Uh, it also looks like the uh, engine's been stored outside, guys, because it's uh, a little rusted there. But it runs. The gear looks good too, guys. When you work on something, guys, you generally want to put your sockets on backwards. Just twist that thing that holds the filter on, just like that, with a pair of uh, vice grips, guys. Nice. Put two different sizes in this. I was confused. I'm like, why is it not uh, coming off? Or my socket's fitting, guys. Uh, my uh, choke idea is not going to work, guys. Oh, no. Mount to anywhere here. That'd be. I might just start without choke. Hopefully. I wanna. I wanna blow out any the screen that's around the uh, carburetor, guys. I don't wanna suck anything in there. not a good idea to do that. I wouldn't recommend doing that with a, a metal pole bowl, but this one's plastic. It'll be fine. Um, a copper float is what I mean. It doesn't really screw out. Um, pulls out. I was trying to get this cover detached, but you have to take it right off the carburetor when I was taking stuff apart, guys. Yeah. Quiet, guys. I'm being cheap. I'm trying to blow out the filter. Save some money. Well, I'm going to have to buy one, guys, with just a temporary fix to get it going. A little thread locker on this thing uh, because it won't stay in there now when I screw on the top. Yeah, guys, it's come to that. I'm getting a brand new spark plug right now. I got the throttle working and mocked up. This is the throttle the guy gave me. It came with it. It's a little bend there, but I found a bolt in the uh, bucket uh, there. It works. Next thing to do is mount it and run a belt, and it should be able to drive it soon, guys. It's approximately uh, uh, 719 250 as I'm putting the plug in it and start working on it, guys. Uh, 719 250. Hold on for more. The plane, the plane, not sure if you can see that, guys. There's a plane up there. Going real. You can probably hear it too. What show is that from? Fantasy Island? The plane, the plane. Old show. Before my time, but I know about the line. I generally just want to leave the box 
to your angle grinder on the floor, guys. That you got from the Harbor Freight from your birth for your birthday, maybe four years ago. I didn't even find it. Where, where'd the grinder go, guys? We've been uh, working in this mess, guys. We'll clean it soon. Just look at the state of my lava, guys. Please send me some more as a gift. PM me if you want to send me some lava. It's got cracks in it. Crackly old lava soap. It's 7:19, 5:35 p.m. I got a clamp right there, a welding clamp, to uh, hold the engine on there. I did a starting wire right to there, and then it's red. I put a clamp because it didn't have a clamp. Uh, Tape's not gonna hold up too good. I'll tighten it up. We're not gonna mount the engine on it now, guys. Still trying to lift it up on my jack and lean it against the garage door there. Because I can't even pick this thing up. And another great thing. This thing keeps coming apart, so I'm gonna JB weld it. Or at least try to. Also using this jack to jack it up. I can't pick it up. It's a big 33 inch thing. It's way too heavy. Also, um, that thing came apart when I tried to move and it just stamps right back in there. It happened before. What I worry about is when it, it, uh, moves, it'll come apart. But I got some JB Weld somewhere. I'm gonna put some in there with it. It's on its side, guys. I don't know. I'm gonna get it back up. The air box is a little crooked, it's pushing right into the door, should be okay. Oh, there's a lot of room under these big ones to mount the bolts. I got one last bolt. I'm trying to vitalize this jack to get it back up. I'm going to have to flip it the other way to do the engine. Only way I know to um, mount these things myself. I won't be getting a third motoring mount because the muffler's there. This, this just looks really freaking interesting. It's caught on my workbench. I might have uh, snapped too much for the starter wire, but I'm going to go on this clamp. And there's some burrs, so I wrapped the electrical tape around there. I cut the wires. To do something about this deck, i got to find my wire brush, or if I can't locate it in the mess. I have to buy one. I'm going to check the dollar store because they got good ones once in a while. Wire brush all that. Get some Rustoleum primer or primer combination red paint. Just paint it under the deck. I don't want to paint the rest of it. Just under the deck to protect it. The older ones I'll seem to get uh, rusted under the deck. But uh, these newer ones do. I'm out of breath. I just freaking heaved it up. Oh good. We do got a ground wire. I was going to make one. Now I'm fixing all this. But uh, first I want to get the belt on. If it'll go on. The uh, belt's on it now guys. It's not hard to do. It's easy. This is now back in place. I didn't use JV Weld. I don't like JV Weld too much. It's, it's not the pre-mix. I should, actually, it's a pre mix, it's not the one you mix up. Huh? But, it's 621, 719, I'm adding this part right now. And then, you, you can tell what I gotta do next. Um, wiring gas, line gas tank. And I'll um, put the deck shield on. Um, this is eventually gonna need a cable because it's electrical tape there. These cables are kind of hard to change and kind of not because I've never done one before. Not sure if I'm going to go through doing it. I can't breathe. I'm going to hurt so much later from all uh, lifting this thing. Just look at my arms, guys. Wow. Working, man. Working on the snappers. Hi, guys. Bleach here. It's uh, 7.21.312 uh, p.m., not a.m. <laughs> Getting ready to hook up a gas tank and a plastic uh, fuel shut off to this engine. And then I'm going to start see how it runs. I already have the grass cut. We're supposed to get all rain next week. Um, so uh, it's uh, Saturday. 
the night of my tsunami live. And um, I'll see if this can cut. I don't even think this is going to fit through my back fence. It's really huge. Hopefully I can sell it. It's too big from... I mean, it's it's nice, but it's kind of big. Be good for like a, a farmland and stuff, guys. But uh, let's get to it. Also, guys, this is nice. Hopefully it seals when I drive it. That this tire is giving me uh, crap. Doesn't want to hold air too uh, good. I uh, wish I bought some pipe clamps at the auto parts store before I did this. But we can take this apart as this is for uh, to see how the engine runs. Put this little gas in there. This will just go just uh, like that. If it seals and doesn't leak, I'm probably going to leave it. Oh, it's good to check the oil, guys. It's on the add mark. Should be good enough for testing. Probably gonna change the oil in anyways. This stamper is a little funny, this big one. This is like a, a parking brake right there. But it uh it still moves when it's there. And like for ground when you don't want it to move, the disc will hit the uh, engine disc. Keep it from moving it in neutral. You wanna start it in neutral and um push on the clutch probably what, like if you're on a hill or something plus it's got like a uh a brake there so it's gonna do this there easy peasy guys I did some more digging on this thing. I believe it's fine. The, it's running really loud. I believe this muffler is no good because I got the same type of setup. And uh, this uh, snapper over here. I think the baffles are gone in this muffler. Why it's so loud. Also, this is kind of weird. I don't remember it being set up like this on this. This engine is virtually the same. But, uh, if you can see this, let me get this thing in the light. I don't know. I'm gonna hold on. I'll get my uh, shop, my little uh, eye light that I like to leave on for the batteries to die. But um, I'm gonna do that. You see that? When you push low, the low uh, into low gear, that's got like uh, I can see that. It's uh, 409721. I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, and please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace, guys. Love you. See ya. Bye.